Hello, welcome back to our channel where we explore the world of Odoo. With this video, I'm going to share another experiment on querying data from Odoo database using AI. In our last experiment, we integrated the AI model directly in Odoo process. This approach offers significant advantages in terms of finer control for steering language models with guidance library. However, it is not scalable due to the high memory requirement for loading AI models. By loading AI model directly into Odoo, the memory requirement to run Odoo increases as well. To address this scalability issue we're going to separate the AI by using a separated server. Additionally, in the last experiment we only queried data from two data sources, the inventory view and sales order view. In this experiment we're going to try a technique called Retrieval Augmented Generation or RAG. With RAG, we can dynamically add information regarding Odoo database. So in theory we can query any data from the database. Let's take a look at the tech stack we'll be using in this experiment. We'll be using local AI with Llama.cpp as the backend and AI model called Hermes 2 Theta. We're also going to use local AI to generate embeddings for our RAG with a model called Gnomic Embed. And we'll use ChromaDB as the vector database. And we also will be using a framework called Autogen for the chatbot. Before we begin, I would like to mention that it turned out this experiments produced a lot more codes than the other tutorials. So this time I won't be showing all of the codes. Instead, I will point out the key parts of the codes. I also won't be showing the installation process for the tech stack and the requirements. Please visit their official web for the installation steps. You can find the links for these tech stack in the video description. Let's begin. Similar to our previous experiment, this time we also use Discuss app as our base, thus the process flow is also similar. Upon receiving messages, we load conversation history if available, and pass it to AI to determine the topic of the conversation. If the topic of conversation is not in the topic list we defined, then AI will reply directly. Otherwise, AI will generate SQL queries, run it and give reply based on the query result. Now, let's take a look on the classes. We have custom controller to route user chat messages to chatbot using intermediary class. For the RAG, we have a couple of classes to help managing information for our knowledge base. They are regular Odoo models, one class to store, retrieve, and process the knowledge base to ChromaDB and a wizard to test the retrieval function. As I have mentioned it before, we'll be using Autogen to develop the chatbot. Unfortunately, we can't use Autogen immediately because Autogen expects direct interaction with its user, while Discuss app, simply put, works like a mail system. At the time of this experiment started, Autogen didn't have built-in pause and resume mechanism. So, we need to extend Autogen first to accommodate this issue. And since we want to retrieve data from Oda database, we also extend Autogen so it can run SQL queries. Last but not least, we extend Autogen to analyze conversations, articles, and sentences. We use these classes to determine the topic of the conversation and to help RAG implementation. Let's jump into the codes. In Odoo, web controllers are created by inheriting from class controller. As we can see here, we define a custom route to catch messages from user. Then the message is passed to AI via intermediary class. Before we continue to the codes for the chatbot, let's take a look into the supporting codes first. To implement RAG, we create a simple knowledge base which can stores articles and example SQL queries in question and answer format. And add a function to process and store these data to vector database by using utility module which contains wrapper functions to add, remove, and retrieve data from and to vector database. In our implementation for RAG, we will try to minimize noises by only storing the summary and the topic of the articles and the QAs, along with their record ID in the vector database. This way, we can still retrieve the details from Oda database. This is the class sentence analyst agent, as shown here, we ask AI to analyze texts and return the topic of the text. Class article analyst agent is derived from class sentence analyst agent with only one difference. While sentence analyst agent is for generating a topic from a sentence, this class is for generating a summary of an article. To implement pause and resume mechanism, we create two new classes, group chat with message callback and resuming group chat manager. Every time a message is added to the group chat, class group chat with message callback will call a callback function if provided. This way, we can save the message and load it later with class resuming group chat manager.
Autogen provides built-in mechanism to run codes, but unfortunately it does not support running SQL queries. To run SQL queries, we create two classes, one inherits class code executor for executing the SQL query, and one specialized agent class that use our SQL query code executor. Now let's go back to the codes for the chatbot. Internally, the chatbot uses multiple agents to reply to users' queries. When a message arrives, we try to load conversation history. Then we create the agents in a group chat environment with the conversation history if available. First, we have the admin which represent the user. Then there are AI agents. We have receptionist, an AI that will answer greetings and forward users' query to another agent if it's about the topics that we have defined. Another AI agent is SQL Expert, an AI for generating SQL queries. And we have Data Expert, an AI that will generate explanation from the SQL query result. We also have Executor in the group chat, an instance of our custom class for running SQL queries. And there is Conversation Analyst for retrieving information from the knowledge base. Let's take a look at the codes for Conversation Analyst before continuing. Conversation Analyst Agent is derived from Sentence Analyst Agent. It analyzes conversation and determine the topic. First, it scans if the conversation has previously analyzed and already have information about a topic. If there was not any, then it will retrieve related information from knowledge base. Back to the chatbot again. The interaction between agents are managed in the group chat by the group chat manager. In this case, we use the extended group chat class and class resuming group chat manager that we created earlier for the ability to save the chat messages and for loading the conversation history. The last part of the chatbot codes is for controlling the flow of conversation in the group chat. To do this we create custom agent selection function and assign it to the group chat. With this function we specify which agent should speak next. Lastly, we create initial knowledge base that will be stored into Oda database when we install the module. Now, let's install the module. As we can see here, the installation of the module also processes the initial knowledge base. After the installation is finished, we can test the knowledge base by searching with questions or sentences. Since our knowledge base is very small, different search topics will have very similar result. Let's chat with the chatbot.
Although it's far from perfect, this experiment shows basic implementation of a chatbot which can query data from Oda database using local AI and Autogen. And with RAG, we can dynamically add knowledges for the AI. I hope this experiment can be somewhat useful for you. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you won't miss my tutorials.